Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the dedication ceremony of Community Healthcare Center to Philippine and U.S. Balikatan Exercise 2023. Sinful. Do not let us promote disorder but peace. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor, partia nor partiality. Right. All this we ask you in the name of Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Bless the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all be seated. <laughs> Engineer Support Battalion, First Lieutenant Patricia Mariti Suryao, Philippine Air Force. First Lieutenant Gijon Sherry, U.S. Marine, and Honorable Antonio Imata, the Barangay Chairman. So Balikatan 2023, Baylor, Philippines, from 22 March 2023 to 26 April 2023. During this period, Technical Sergeant Landanga performed his duties in an exemplary manner. His exemplary work ethic has led to the successful completion of the mission ahead of schedule, strengthened our bilateral partnership, and provided a valuable resource for a community in need. of our healthcare center ahead of schedule. He spent over 216 hours diligently conducting masonry specific tasks to ensure the structural integrity and proper construction of one healthcare center. For infectious to those around him and fostered in an atmos atmosphere of mission accomplishment. Airman Second Class Gapasis Initiative and devotion and duty reflected greater upon himself and were keeping with the highest traditions of the armed forces. Given on this day, 26 April 2023, signed Marcus D. Gillette, Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps Commander. Marcus D. Gillette, Lieutenant Colonel Commanding, United States Marine Corps. Technical Sergeant Saron. Sergeant Baliong. First class Casano. Airman First Class Manguya. Both OIC of NCAP 2 of the US and the AFP forces respectively. The ones uh, who are responsible in the quick implementation of this project. So, Honorable Antonio M. Mata, the Barangay Chairman of this Barangay. 
Also with us is the acting U7, the process of establishing reciprocal win-win ties between the two, our two countries. Especially those who are medically un underserved. Because of this, we are looking forward to seeing the people, especially those who are part of the ethnic minority to get access immediately or immediate healthcare services. And of course, our 55th Aviation Engineer Wing of the Philippine Air Force, congratulations for a job well done. This project that symbolizes a strong partnership, cooperation between our nation, I hope that we will continue to tirelessly work together in the future, sharing both culture, work ethics, and experiences for the betterment of our two nations and our people. With that said, thank you very much once again to our AFP and U.S. forces for implement the implementer of this project. If they finish early, I owe them 25 per day for every day they finish early. So for y'all, I did my 75 burpees on the, on the beautiful beach this morning. Uh, it was painful, but thank you for making the job. And I'll do a lot more. So, think about what I was going to say today, I reflected back, because that is a reflection of stories that occurred in the, the 1940s. There are stories of hardship, uh, there are stories of, of wonderful things happening, uh, and not only on the military side, on the civilian side. Uh, I think back to, to some of the things in civilians handing out food uh, to soldiers that, are, that, are, that have surrendered, knowing that their lives are in danger when they're doing it. I think that's important for us to remember that, uh, because Balkan, the, the, what we are doing here, Balkan 38, uh, which is well publicized as the largest Balkan in history, is, is a continuation of that, that tradition between our two wonderful countries. Uh, the buildings standing over there, the, the airmen and marines sitting over there, are a reflection of our, our decades, decades of, of working together as partners and allies of a shared culture. I have many Filipino uh, individuals in my battalion, uh, and we can all say that. It's a shared culture and it's a shared experience over a very long period of time. That building is a reflection of a continuation of that relationship. And I think our grandparents would be proud that those two flags are standing co-equal to one another. I am proud to say that this fine group of the 9th Engineer Support Battalion and the 355th Aviation Engineer Wing has done a tremendous job to highlight their build-up camaraderie, a strong hand and sense of service, established and built from a group of one community health care center in a span of 25 days since start of joint combined construction. And this, may I request to give them a big round of applause. To the 40 distinct individuals who showcased their core competence in one way or another, do know that we are all proud and grateful for your hardship. And I know Smutley and very opportune Barangay Suplayin is fully thankful for the, this year of hope to improve their healthcare system, taking one step at a time. This community is moving closer to become healthier. And with another step, we shall enter a new era of closely needed tie relationship between the AFP and the community of Philosophy. Even though Philippine U.S. Exercise Balikatan is an annual event, becoming part of it may only come once for a service personnel. So I am hoping that whatever you have learned, whatever you have gained, and whatever you have gathered in this short stay in your group will become a great lesson. A great lesson learned. And be stored as a core memory to cherish in your lives. That the culmination ceremony only signifies the beginning of the group's relationship. 
We hope to come back here to see a fruitful and fruit fruitful of uh, BK38-2023. We are so first I would like to greet and welcome uh, Lieutenant Marcos Ville, the commanding officer of 9th uh, Engineering Support Battalion.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Marcus Chillet. Good to meet you.